Hey guys, Mars Singh and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today, much like yesterday's video where we had a look at Margin Vegeta, who of course has uh, seen a little bit of a new lease of life with the release of uh, Trunks and Vegeta, I wanted to take a look at our boy LR Namek Goku. So Namek Goku is a unit that um, the red zone essentially made him... A little bit outdated right that's when people started to really claim that he kind of fell off um because he's a stacking unit right so if you don't get your stacks then against these harder bosses he can be a bit of a liability um and i can't remember when he got a 200 percent lead because i'm pretty sure neither of the seventh anniversary lrs give him a 200 percent lead do they so i know he had one before trunks and vegeta but he gets a 200% lead from Trunks and Vegeta. He also is a 5-link partner with them, which is obviously very good for both of them. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. We managed to stun Omega, so that means we can't get the uh, we can't get the 18 key super because we can't get any extra build up. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do let's just grab this, keep those physical orbs there. And then we can grab this for you. So, on this rotation, we are getting the five links active. We are getting Kamehameha from the LR Super Saiyan 4s as well. So, with no support on turn one, he has 200k defense on a 200% lead. Now, obviously, uh, when it comes to the, these more difficult bosses, that's not really enough defense. Um, now, Goku can stack fairly quickly. Um, and obviously, he does have the parts of his passive that allow him to get the additional supers, which, of course, the 12 key is the one that stacks his defense. I do think that is the better design for these LRs that are going to stack attack on one of their supers and defense on the other, because there are sometimes you can't get the 18 key if you get like a bad rotation, bad field of orbs. And so even if that is the case, you're probably still better off in the long run getting a stack on your defense than you are on your attack and then obviously any additional supers will be 12 key supers for lrs so you get additional defensive stacks now that is the one thing that can still prove to be a liability with this goku um, obviously with this video i'm trying to highlight that he can still be pretty good but i'm obviously not trying to say that he is uh, absolutely perfect and you're never going to have any issues when you run him because as we saw from that previous turn we did not get the additional super either from his passive for being in slot two or three or from the hidden potential system so on that turn it is very possible that he could have done three super attacks and he did one so that is always going to be his biggest problem when you use him in these more difficult events uh, it's just the fact that like can he get enough stacks in before the boss become like is at a point where he's going to be hitting him so hard that you, he's just going to cause you to lose the run essentially um now to be fair because his defense pretty much just relies on his pure defensive stat right like he has no other defensive tech um that does mean that even if you are able to build up his defense to a reasonable level some of the more difficult red zone bosses are still going to kill him with a super attack but you know i feel like we're at the point in the game now where units regardless of how you want to rate units units are separated into these separate tiers and there's only like a couple of them really and i feel like a lot of the units in the game fit into this like middle tier that is essentially um they're fine against normal attacks from most bosses in the game but will die to a super attack to like red zone bosses i feel like there's a lot of units in the game now that fit very firmly into that particular slot so unfortunately it just is what it is um and yeah so gohan here uh we haven't got many stacks off with him actually this is his first no is this his first appearance was he in slot seven um might be his second appearance uh, him be having to be in slot 1 is not ideal, but we get the stun, which is good, and then Namek Goku. Is he going to finish him off with one super? Hopefully he doesn't, and we can actually get an additional, because getting the extra build up is obviously where he's going to look his best, and so of course he crits. Um, now, Goku, red zone is what made people think that he started to fall off, right? But he's seen a little bit of, um, not like a comeback, I guess, but... He's seen a little bit of a resurgence in recent times with things like uh, the Cell Max event, right? Cell Max uh, basically making... I'm going to do this to protect future Gohan. Even though we have a Trunks on rotation, I'm a little bit wary. Um, 
And then I might as well get an extra stack for the Super Saiyan Force now since I've got an item active and they're not being attacked. Uh, Cell Max coming out. That event obviously is wild. <laughs> First two phases super easy. Last phase, like hardest boss in the game. Um, threw a lot of people for a loop when it first came out. Now, int units obviously do well against Tech Cell Max, but you can't just take any old int units, right? They, Some of them are still going to get absolutely destroyed by him. But Namek Goku definitely proved to be quite useful in that event. I did a video, it did take a few attempts, but I did a video using him, like double Namek Goku leads, um, and still managed to do it. I'm glad I used the item there, because if he took 4,000, then obviously without the Whis, we wouldn't have got one shot, but uh, I was a little bit worried. To be honest, I've only really used Future Gohan over the last couple of months without a Trunks. Um, because I see a lot of people say that he's still a top tier, like, easy ATUR without a Trunks, and I do not agree. Like, the, nu the number of times he's lost me runs without a Trunks, even after multiple turns where he's built up his damage reduction. Um, so I figured we might as well just use the item. Now, I guess, because we have the item active, we can actually use this as an opportunity to get a guaranteed extra super with Goku by putting him in slot 1. Um, Xeno Goku is giving the support. Whilst this is obviously better for the links, I would rather do this just because even with the Whis, uh, Xeno Goku is not really that built up, so I don't want him eating a super. Uh, oh, I can get one key. Perfect. Okay. So we can get 12 keys for you. So with all the support, he's got a lot of support on this rotation. He's at 436k. He is now going to get two supers guaranteed this turn as well. And, of course, this turn we don't have him linked up with uh, the LR. So, LR, Trunks, and Vegeta, they share five links. Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, prepared for Battle Fist, Battle Legendary Power. Very good. Um, so, I think he can look pretty decent still in events. But, I think it comes down to a lot of RNG with this unit. Because it's going to come down to, are you getting the additional supers? And then, of course, is he getting super attacked? Which... I feel like with this meta uh, of units that, like I say, units that will tank normals but not live a super. I feel like in this meta, more so than any that we've had so far, uh, the scouter effect is probably the most powerful. I mean, it's always been probably one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful anyway. But the value of a scouter effect in this current meta, like, cannot be overstated. When you have teams that even some of the best teams in the game, right, like Cooler's team, the Gamma's team, this team, not necessarily this build, but Trunks and Vegeta, um, certain units will still get you killed if they get super attacked at the wrong time. And so it's cool. I could double active. Sc I don't want to do that because obviously we uh, <laughs> we need to we want to save one of them for uh, I want to use the active skill on a turn where we have Goku. Um Wow, has my one not had any build-up at all yet? Is he the one I had to float off, I guess? Um, so we've got to keep him in slot 1 then for sure, so he actually gets his guard. Um, the one in slot 3 is not going to have guard, but they do have 414k defense, and they are going to get to super. So I think I probably will do it this way. Um, and let us go for... Let's use my one's active skill as well, so that everyone gets a bit of a defense buff here. Um, I forgot that the... Oh, great, someone's at the door. Right. <laughs> Gotta love it when a uh, parcel gets delivered when I'm recording the red zone. So it's not like I can just quit out and start again as well. So good times. Uh, right. So they're going to get hit. So they're going to get key. So they'll get their 18 key super. Um, what did the friend one go up to? <laughs> the friend ones at like just under 500k. So they're going to be over 500k when they super. Because, yeah, I want to save their active skill. We'll float them off so that we can get them back onto the rotation with Namek Goku. Because I think it was... I don't know if it was the 55% showcase that I did. But I um, there was a run that I did when I'd first pulled Trunks and Vegeta. Where there was a support unit in slot 3. It might have been Kid Gohan because he does give a lot of extra defense. And I used Trunks and Vegeta's active skill. 
It was a few turns into the event. It wasn't like turn two or anything. But um, <laughs> Namek Goku had like a million defense on that turn. <laughs> so hopefully we can see uh, something similar to that in this uh, run here. But obviously we will have to see. Um, I'm in very intrigued to see what Vegeta and Trunks are going to take in the last slot. Although if they get super attacked. did he, he didn't super. I didn't miss the super, did he? If they get super attacked, he might actually be dead. <laughs> Should be unfortunate. Uh, we get the additional 12 key as well, so we get the extra stack. So their defense is going to be very high at this point. So they should tank normals perfectly fine. I just definitely do not want them to get hit with a super. Of course, they dodged the normal. Are you kidding me? 443k. Okay, well, defense is pretty important. <laughs> um, all right, what's Namek Goku at now? He's at 600k defense on this turn. Now, what are the chances that they, he's going to get? He's going to super attack me again in slot one. Surely it's not like super, super high, right? Also, I guess I can just heal with Go, uh, Gohan's active skill. So let's uh, turn the skip on. Let's do this. Get the heal. That gives us a defensive buff as well, doesn't it? So yeah, now we're at 726k. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put him in slot one. Um, actually, what do you? Do you get any key links from you? No. Let's uh, keep them on rotation here. Because Namek Goku should kill. But if he doesn't, these two getting a guaranteed double super with effective against all types will finish him off. So, And do I get this? Yeah, I, I want to get the Dokkan attack with Namek Goku if possible. So I think as long as I don't get uh, type orbs next turn, I should be able to not get the Dokkan attack. So, But yeah, Goku's going to get two supers here. Because I think even if he crits, he doesn't finish him off. Best case scenario is he doesn't finish him off with this one and we get a third. We get the actual hidden potential. That would be good. Because obviously if you a unit gets an additional attack from their passive, it makes it more likely to trigger the hidden potential. But unfortunately we don't get it, but it's all good. Uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4s will finish him off here. Very importantly though, the way this turn played out, um, you would not. I would not suggest risking that kind of play if you can't get the 24 key for the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Because as you can see, we didn't crit, but we're only going to finish them off because we are effective against all types from getting the full 24 key. So that does benefit them as well, of course. Getting two supers means they get two extra stacks. Um, and so now here we are against Int Omega. Um, so next turn is going to be the Namek Goku turn. Who are we going to have in slot three? Uh, is it going to be Kid Gohan? I just re I'm not going to have anyone to tank the super, but we'll see how this plays out. So again, I don't want to get, I don't want to get too many same type orbs here. Who's got the highest defense out of you guys? Uh, Zeno Goku. So if I do, hmm. Can I avoid the super if I get these? I think I can, right? Because if I just get STR orbs for you. And then this. Okay, well, never mind. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess seeing the Doka, I got I grew out of when I first started making videos, I felt it was really important to like get the Dokon attack with the character that you're doing the showcase for, but I mean it isn't really, right? Because the Dokon attack, you just do bonus damage based on the nose that you hit. But you're still getting the same attack stat. So we're still going to see the same like performance from the unit. We're just not getting uh, the you know big boy bonus damage from the Dokkan attack. So, um, but yeah, Trunks and Vegeta should handle this pretty nicely. They, we should be almost fully built up. So yeah, they've got a decent crit chance at this point as well. So pretty good for them getting the crit. No additional from the hidden potential but uh, from the passive. But we get the additional super from the hidden potential. So, not bad damage overall from them. Future Gohan should be fully built up at this point. 6.1. That's pretty good. He's getting, obviously, the support from um, Zeno Goku. How many links does he share with uh, Vegeta and Trunks? Is it four or three? Four. Yeah, I'm looking at the link tool here. So, they have Super Saiyan prepared for Battle, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. So, not a bad link set. Unfortunately, no all in the family, which, obviously, for Gohan is a 20%. Uh, link. Although actually, does Zeno Goku have that? They might have that up on this turn, which obviously is very good for uh, Gohan. But all right, so <laughs> all right, it's always the last attack on the second. How many times does he want to be attacking in the middle? <laughs> so unfortunately, this isn't going to be a turn where we'll get to see uh, Goku's full potential. 
because realistically I have to do this. Um, which is a shame. I guess, I mean, I could do this. Would they survive? The friend is at 470? No, because they'd have no garden slot too. Man, that's unfortunate because if we do this, then obviously we get potentially the additional super. He's at 643k defense. So after the one super, he's going to be over 700k. But obviously that's not going to do anything against um, <laughs> Omega's super attack. So it's a little bit unfortunate that the turn has played out the way it has in terms of the um, attack placement. So I guess there's no reason not to use the Whis now. Because I'm going to go ahead and transform. Um, we're going to get the good old defense buffs and everything from Gogeta. I don't want to use his active skill because I feel like he... If we use the active skill, I feel like then the follow-up attacks from Gogeta are going to kill. And I don't really want that. I want Namek Goku to finish him off. So we'll get the 18 key super for the first time with Namek Goku. Um, but yeah, Omega can be a bit weird, obviously, with the locking early on, the ceiling and such. Um, but I feel like this video is a pretty decent demonstration of the fact that Namek Goku can still be pretty good if you give him the chance, right? And the Trunks and Vegeta team, very versatile, uh, as I've said in all the videos that we've been doing using them. Um, Bond of Parent and Child, such a huge category, right? It gives you so many uh, characters that you can use um, as part of the team. So I think if we get another set of red zone stages with a next big celebration, because obviously we've seen now that they're going to drop new sets of red zone stages fairly regularly. Wow, he didn't counter. Gogeta, how could you? Um, if they release a new set of red zone stages where the hardest boss at the very end, like the final stage, uh, their main phase, or at least their final phase, is tech, then I feel like Namek Goku could still see some play in that event, depending on how like the early phases are, right? Like if phase one is physical and the enemy hits quite hard straight away in phase one and the last phase is tech, then I think you could maybe still have a little bit of an issue. But Namek Goku going off here with the additionals though at least. So at least putting the effort in at the end of this turn and he does actually get the finish. So I'll take that. But you guys let me know what you think down below of Int Namek Goku. Do you think he has fallen off? Do you ever use him anymore? Um, I do think he is good on this team. You obviously have to be careful early on about him taking hits until he starts getting that build up going. Obviously, I wouldn't take him against like Red Zone Metal Cooler Core or something like that. But I think he can still be pretty decent. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.